Well, hello once again, all my vintage dirt bike loving YouTubers, and welcome back once more to my increasingly popular classic dirt bike TV internet channel. Now, in this featured video, we are going to continue to check out more fantastic machines from the Terry Pickering Private Dirt Bike Motorcycle Collection. Now, coming up in the next few videos, we are going to feature five more machines from Terry's superb collection. And so to begin, we're going to check out the first of those five machines. We're going to take a look at this 1980 Puch 250 Twin Shock Machine. Now, of course, this featured 1980 Puch 250 is not a restoration or even a refurbishment. This bike is a brand new machine from 1980 that has never been ridden, never been started, and the fuel tank has never even had a drop of fuel put in its tank. Now Terry purchased this bike and four other brand new motocross machines from that era from a private collector in Belgium who had this bike and many, many other brand new examples of motocross machines from that period in his uh, private collection. Now for many years Puch had been producing bicycles, mopeds, scooters and even cars at one point and their design and manufacturing processes were second to none and they went on to engineer some fantastic machines. Although by the late 1980s the company was being squeezed out by the competition from Japan and by 1987 it led to a restructuring of the company which then led to its ceasing production of two-wheelers at its manufacturing plant. The Puch company was then sold to Piaggio, the makers of the legendary Vespa scooter in 1987. Now, of course, as this is a brand new bike from 1980, it's survived for 40 years in absolutely superb condition. And it's amazing how there is no uh, furring or uh, oxidization of any of the metal parts on this bike after 40 years in storage. Now, of course, Puch at this time did not uh, fit their own engine design into this uh, chassis. They opted to go for this uh, nice uh, Rotax motor with the magnesium engine casings. Now there were many many manufacturers using this uh, 250 Rotax motor mainly because it was such a good engine and uh, so reliable and uh, you can see why many motorcycle manufacturers opted to use this uh, lovely uh, 250 motor. Now these lovely Rotax motors used this uh, disc valve induction system whereby the fuel air mixture from the carburetor was uh, drawn into the side of the crank cases rather than the conventional uh, way just coming in through the rear of the barrel. And a big 84 Bing carburetor used on this bike along with these uh, magnesium crank cases which of course were done to keep the overall weight of the engine to the bare minimum. And not only is this machine very rare, it is very rare to even find a brand new example of one of these 1980 250s. Marzocchi Fox of course, uh, as per uh, many of the other bikes of the era, these Marzocchi Forks were absolutely superb for these uh, old uh, classic dirt bikes. As you can see the original triple clamps, the paintwork is in absolutely superb condition. Looks like this bike was just finished yesterday. And those very wide front and rear uh, mud guards are of course supplied by a service and the plastics are in superb condition for a 40 year old machine 
Now these Puch 250s from 1980, if I remember correctly, were fitted with a set of uh, Corticosa uh, rear shocks with these remote reservoirs which were uh, bolted to the frame. Now they weren't the best rear shocks for a motocross machine as I remember, but for the time period, uh, 1980, uh, these were about uh, as good as you could imagine at the time. Now naturally because this is a brand new machine, this uh, bike still has its original Nordisk uh, steel wheels and uh, all the spokes of course are all brand new as you would expect from a, a new machine. Now this bike also has its original Metzler tyres fitted, front and rear, and uh, this uh, nice conical back hub has uh, yet to see any action on a dirt bike track. Now the rear back plate on this particular bike had Frigerio stamped on it uh, and I think that's a reference to the Frigerio brothers from Treviglio in Italy who built mopeds and off-road motorcycles uh, back in the day so I'm assuming that they supplied parts for this uh, Puch 250 bike. Plastic fuel tank again on this uh, Puch 250 as of course many of the other manufacturers of the 1980s were using uh, plastics as their source of uh, making uh, fuel storage tanks. Now, the plastics and the overall condition of this bike is truly remarkable for a 40 year old machine. And the previous owner before Terry bought this machine has obviously taken care of this bike all these years and uh, stored it uh, superbly. Now once again we see the reference to the Frigerio uh, on this bike and I'm sure that Frigerio supplied parts to Puch for this particular bike, but don't quote me. Now as you would expect, uh, the exhaust system is totally free of any dings or dents or uh, battle damage, which you would expect uh, because the bike has never ever been used on a motocross track and as you can see the exhaust system is uh, basically as it left the factory. As you can see the exhaust tailpipe is in much the same condition as the rest of the exhaust system although there does appear to be some slight blemishes of rust appearing on that uh, end of the tailpipe but for a 40 year old bike it uh, is certainly no shame. Now this bike had the Dree Schreiber system uh, emblazoned on the side. Now I'm unsure as to what this actually was referring to but I think it was some kind of a rotary valve system that the reference was to. Now in 1980 Puch never built a vast amount of these uh, 250 motocrossers. They were more uh, into uh, building uh, works motocross machines and of course the likes of uh, Harry Everts took uh, Puch to a 250 World Championship win in 1975. But of course that bike was uh, very much unlike this bike because uh, Harry Everts bike of course had a works uh, Puch uh, motor. But this bike is uh, certainly uh, very colourful with the Italian uh, influences on it with that uh, orange frame, uh, the yellow tank, the black seat and those uh, white mud guards but a very very nice and very very rare machine from 1980. Once again the bars and the Magura levers, all originals from that year, although the rubber on the handlebars are beginning to show a bit of ageing and drying up and cracking, uh, which is not surprising 
when the bike is uh, 40 years old. But back in 1978, Pook were of course uh, legendary for their mopeds and scooters which were hugely popular in Europe and their best seller, the Pooch Maxi Moped, was a 50cc two-stroke with pedals and that motor produced about 2 horsepower and would still get you up to about 30 miles per hour and if I remember correctly, they made almost 2 million of those uh, little Pooch Maxi Mopeds. But nevertheless, uh, what we're looking at here is indeed a timepiece from back in 1980 and it's thanks to the original collector who had the foresight to purchase these machines back in the day in order that we can now uh, all have a look and share this superb looking machine. Now how rare this bike is I'm not entirely sure but I can certainly say that this is the first ever uh, Pook 250 motocrosser I've uh, come across in my many years of uh, covering classic dirt bikes and uh, there can't be many of these examples still on the go. But of course this is just one of five brand new machines from back in the day that uh, I'm soon to bring you here on my YouTube channel and uh, this wonderful uh, 1980 Puch 250 is uh, just a fantastic looking machine from that era. So please make sure that you subscribe to my channel in order that you don't miss a single machine that is uh, coming soon right here to my YouTube channel. Okay, the next featured bike here on my YouTube channel, we will be covering this uh, superb uh, 125 Aprilia classic motocross machine. So uh, please stay tuned and subscribe to my channel as we check out the second of five of Terry's fantastic machines. This video was brought to you in association with Wealthsport, the world's number one supplier for all your off-road and leisure sportswear. Just visit their online website for more information.